Okay, I actually uh, set my... I got a setup for a uh, game stream uh, with the NVIDIA Shield. Um, finally, I upgraded my GPU. And even though uh, GeForce Experience says that I'm not ready for game stream, it works great. Uh, I don't meet the minimum requirements for routers and uh, CPU, but it still works flawlessly and so therefore I don't give a fuck. Anyways, so we're going to bring it up. I'll show you my uh, games running from Steam. Now, I have not yet set this up for the remote stream, which is streaming outside of your house, which is one of the main things I really want from this. But the other thing I wanted to be able to do is, because I'm mostly a console gamer, I like to sit on the couch and play on the TV, and this is really cool because I can stream the game straight to the TV and everything works flawlessly. Um, I've heard a lot of people having problems. Um, luckily, I was not one of those people. Um, so this is a lot of stuff. I, got. I added emulators that the, the uh, Shield can't, no, or doesn't have or can't handle. There's like PS2 emulators and uh, M2, so I could play Daytona USA and Virtual Fighter 2 and whatever else. I have the entire, all the ROMs for that. Um, I'm showing emulators right now, but... There's 3DO, which I'm sure could hand, probably handle it, but it's, you know, who the hell would want to make a 3DO emulator for um, Android? <laughs> and there's the Dolphin emulator. That's the one that works, you know, not the Android one. That one doesn't work. Um, so then, of course, I have my PC games here. Uh, Crisis 2 I added. You can manually add some of these games if they're not supported. Except for, with the exception of Dead Space, I've not tried it yet. Every single game here works perfectly fine. I've played Twisted Sis, uh, Twist, Gianna Sisters, Twisted Dreams, worked fine. Some of it is like you have to use the touchpad to kind of, uh, as a mouse pointer, so you can start the game. But for the most part, the game, it, once you get into the game, it's perfectly fine. Crisis 2 works perfect with a controller. Um... I have remote desktop set up here. Um, there's a tutorial on the, the NVIDIA forums for that, how to set up remote desktop through GameStream. Um, Titanfall is is officially supported. Uh, Black Ops 2 is also officially supported. All these games work fine. I've played HDMI to, out to the TV in 1080p. I think it's scaled up, but it is. Uh, it looks really good. It looks like I'm, I'm playing on the PC, and the latency is great, so that's good. Dirt 3 works great. I played Daytona USA on the M2 emulator. That was cool. Haven't tried. I haven't even gotten any ROMs for Sega Saturn yet or anything like that. Skyrim works great and stuff like that. And I'm gonna show, I guess, some stuff here. Um, I'm gonna show some stuff that I that I don't think is normally on here. I'm gonna show the M2 emulator first. Um, this is Sega's uh, emulator. Now, because it's uh, kind of an emulator. It's not really made for this. <laughs> we'll do a little little extra work here. I don't know if there's I don't know if there's any way to to auto launch in these things. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyways. So oh I wanna show Sega Rally. Um oh, bleh. Ah, uh, here we go. Sega Rally Championship right here, if I can just get it to mouse over properly. And just launch it. Get back to the... Get back to that. I hope the, uh... The, um... Controls are still set up. I, I had to set up... Yep, controls are set up. Championship. Hit this. Oops. There we go. So here's uh, Sega Rally Championship. I'm also downloading a whole bunch of games right now. So there may be some interference with it. I don't know. That would cause problems with the uh, game. I don't know about that, but so far it seems to be working fine. Everything on my end looks great. Um, and it feels like I'm playing it natively. So, that's that. That's cool. I'll be able to hook up to Wi-Fi somewhere. 
once I have uh, the remote gameplay or remote streaming set up and sit there and play this. Uh, right now I'm downloading some Steam games though. So. Weeeee bam. And now I'm just going to end that. So that's that's that. Uh, I, I don't have ROMs for anything else though. So now I'm going to get to a, a, one of the more AAA titles. Let me go with Crisis 2. This game works fine with um, with the uh, with the streaming. So, yeah. Soon we will be achieved with CryEngine 3. I think. There we go. Let me just lower this a bit to make sure that you can hear me. Um, the game, unfortunately this game, the multiplayer is kind of busted all of a sudden. So it's practically, it's just about impossible to play a multiplayer game because it won't let you log in. And the only way to log, to, to log in is to create a new account. Once you're done, you create a new account, you play a multiplayer game, then you, it, once you log out, you're, you can't log back in. So it's kind of practically impossible. So with the single player though, is um, f definitely functional. Um, so you can play single player games, the sim single player campaign on here. So I have the high resolution textures now. I don't remember if I did DX11. I'm, I might have disabled it. My PC's not exactly the best. It's kind of a piece of crap. The uh, graphics card I got was the GTX uh, 650 Ti uh, su uh, super clocked. If I can ever get this to to load here. Well, yeah, watch it act up just because I'm friggin'. Well, it looks like it's doing something. There you go. Um, okay, so there's there's that. Now I can't see what I'm doing. So there's people here. <laughs> um, let me see about in the tactical uh, tactical visor. What is zoom again? Oh shit. Okay. So I can, kinda, can tag people. If I can actually see them. Okay. So, you know, all the buttons work. Um, so that I can kill people. I can't even see them. Can't see shit. I tagged him and I still can't see him. There they are. Fuck. Wow, I can't friggin' do this really with the... Did he just... Well, I'll probably just get myself killed. It'll be fine. Unless I kill someone. Line. The game looks amazing on the screen. I have to say, uh, oh, there's some stuttering. Uh, I'm guessing I'm, I'm down. Like I said, I'm downloading a friggin' uh, downloading some big ass games. But this doesn't really happen. I should probably do some gameplay <laughs> once it's done. Wow, this looks like shit. Okay, let me get out of here. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that doesn't normally happen. I just so happen to be downloading Mortal Kombat and some other big ass titles that probably would cause that to happen. We have Dirt 3, Titanfall, stuff like that. Um, I'd like to play some of the stuff on the TV and show it to you, but like I said, I'm downloading stuff. It's going to fuck it up, especially when I'm playing it online. Uh, let me show the remote desktop. So. 
set up remote desktop. It's nothing major. It's nothing amazing. It's just that. What the hell is going on here? What, what's this? Oh, is that the emulator? I, I think I, that's the PS2 emulator I launched. All right, uh, yeah. Let me get out of that. So, I mean, I could show you uh, here. Uh, uh, pull it over here. Damn it. And it's showing all the stuff I'm downloading. Uh, so... Yeah, it's a zero of two items downloaded. See, I'm downloading Mortal Kombat and Gotham City Imposters at the same time, so. That's the remote desktop feature. And we can get out of that by hold on holding start. And hit quit. And okay. And then, uh, let's do, did I do this? Oh yeah, I already did uh, this. Okay, so I don't have to do that. Never, never mind. Okay, well, I mean, that's that part. I guess I can cover some more of this uh, later on. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show that I got, uh, that, got that working. Uh, I didn't really have to do anything much. I mean, I, I, I bought a, uh, the cheapest graphics card I could get for that's compatible, which is, again, it's the... Uh, GeForce GTX 650 Ti was under 200 bucks, and I didn't have to upgrade my CPU or anything. I just have a crappy machines, shoved this friggin' graphics card in there, and uh, didn't upgrade anything else, and it worked. So that was good. It's just a stock, uh, probably $300 computer that's from E Machines, uh, the lowest price from three years ago, and um, it works. So. I'm happy with that. It works a lot better than the Vita streaming. Uh, I noticed the quality is a lot better. Um, Vita streaming normally disconnects a lot from the PS4. It has a lot of macro blocking issues on the screen. It does have the lower resolution. It also has the... Um, it doesn't have the console style controller like the Shield does. Um, and it's uh, more comfortable to hold and has HDMI out. So. You know, that, that's really cool because you get your whole, not only your Steam library on the go, but you get any game really that you can get running on your PC, you can send to your Shield and you can do it over um, the internet so you don't have to be on your local connection. Um, so you're not like feeling like, oh, well, I'm sitting in front of my PC and I'm like playing PC games while I'm sitting in front of my PC uh, that's also playing the game. So, that, you know, that may not make sense. Uh, for local streaming, it work. It makes sense for me because, like I said, I like to play on the TV, so I just HDMI out to the TV and play on the TV with a controller like I like to do. Um, so there it is. Um, plus, you also get uh, to, to take advantage of the Steam deals if you um, were looking to get into PC gaming like I was, but just need to be on the TV. I mean, plugging your HDMI cable into uh, the TV... Uh, works well for games when you have, you know, from your PC to your TV. That works well for games, but once you start web browsing or editing videos or something, it's it's horrendous. So what I really wanted was to, just to get my games on the TV, and that was nice. This is a nice thing, and also to be able to play certain emulators that I can't play on the Shield on the go is cool as well. And I'll be able to play those on the TV. Huh. Yeah. So, there it is. So, I don't know that Dead Space works, by the way. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't even launched the game. It was free on Origin. But, we'll see. There you go. Thank you for watching.